Здесь не здесь, а это ты, да? Здесь так на меня похож в детстве. I've, I've lived here in the States for over 45 years in Pittsburgh. I am a true Pittsburgher through and through. I love this city, but I wasn't born here. You know, I was born in the Soviet Union, Leningrad at that time. Now it's St. Petersburg. Well, we had a very nice, close-knit family. Our parents always took care of us. <laughs> My brother and I were carefree, five, six years old. We would play hockey, play soccer. I remember life was tough. It was, wasn't capitalist system, it was socialist system. When one person, one person can dictate a million people and apply his wish, you couldn't say what you think. Uh, because everybody said, shh, don't, 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 don't say, because it's very, you know, like your mom could go to prison. It was terrible. I was very poor. We were very poor. When I was 17 years old, I had a friend, and he had a radio, and we start listening. Voice of America, he's telling, uh, about democracy in America, Tell, telling about uh, American system. Oh my God, I said. And president every four years change. I just loved it. And nobody, nobody made the president of the United States like a god. That's it's his job. Yeah, my brother and I, yeah, we were very close. We like to say that we used to be roommates when we were roommates. Uh, the funny thing, people ask us, how does it feel to be a twin? My response is, how does it feel not to have a twin? When, you, when you're a twin, you always have somebody there with you, somebody who thinks like you, who understands what you're feeling, you understand what he's feeling. You always have a best friend. We do anything for each other. All childhood, they were felt like one person. We, 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 not I. We decided to go to buy coats for them. They put it on, said, and then said, no, we don't want it. So why? Because liner, different liners. When my brother and I were four years old, my dad taught us how to play chess. We loved it. I mean, we'd play 20 or 30 games a day. We got really good at it. When they were at six, I couldn't win. That's it. I cannot play. They beat me like that. We started playing so well, uh, they put us against the adults uh, in, in the tournaments. Our parents always wanted the best for us, as any parent does. But they knew that you know, the Soviet Union, if you're Jewish, you don't get a chance to be all you can be because some many universities, top universities, won't let, would not let Jewish people in. And suddenly the Soviet uh, government allowed leave the country. So, oh, this is what I wanted. We, we immediately apply. We were offered Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Israel. I said, no, I want America only. And my sons were 12 years old. As a 12 year old leaving Russia, for me and my brother, it was exciting. Because yeah, we did have friends, we had relatives, but we're going somewhere we've never been before. The Soviet government told us America is bad, it's bad capitalist system. And now we're going there. Wow, we're gonna find out exactly what it's like. You know, we didn't know a word of English, so it was kind of scary. With $500 in our pockets, just, it was very brave of our dad and mom to, to take that step. We came to, to the United States, to New York, from New York, Pittsburgh. For me, I never heard about existing <laughs> of the Pittsburgh. We came to Pittsburgh, and I tell you what, I, I, I fall in love with Pittsburgh. I don't want to live anywhere else. I love Pittsburgh. After we graduated, we went to work with our dad, and after about four years of working, like, you know, you gotta work with your head, not with your hands. So we went to engineering school, but in our last year we decided, look, Engineering is mostly working with uh, numbers, this and that. I mean, we're good with numbers, 
Uh, but I always wanted to work with people. And on the third year, they said, Dad, you know what? We decided to go to law school. We love people it's, uh, and we want to help people. And uh, law, especially personal injury, it's so much more satisfying. We rented uh, the space before we even passed the bar exam. It was difficult in the beginning. Uh, it, obviously, when you don't have clients, it's tough. Our parents helped us out. We lived at home for a while. And uh, slowly but surely, we built it up. With every case, you get more and more confident, you get more suc uh, successful. And, and again, the more cases you, you do, the more people refer you. You cannot choose your parents, but if I could, I choose you guys every time. Every time we celebrate uh, here in the States, any, any holiday, I, I always raise a toast. Number one, God bless the USA. And number two, my second toast is thank you to dad. Now that mom passed away, thank you for bringing my brother and me here to the States because I don't know what I'd be doing there and uh, it was such a fantastic gift that he bestowed upon us by bringing us here. Yeah, sometimes I look back to still being in Russia, being very little. I remember when, when uh, we were in the kindergarten, my brother and I would be we'd sit in the sled and our mom would pull us uh, when she took us to the kindergarten. I just loved that feeling. You are safe. Mom is with you. I wish I could bring mom back. And it was difficult when she passed away nine years ago. Yeah, she had a glioblastoma, uh, which was the most uh, aggressive brain cancer. And uh, she fought for a year. We we're so lucky to, you know, I mean, they raised us well. Uh, they instilled uh, good qualities in us. and. Uh, I believe this is why we're successful in our business, because we treat people nice, we fight for them, uh, and uh, it feels so great when, when you win a case and uh, a client comes up to you with tears in her eyes or his eyes and gives you a big hug and say, look, thank you so much. I never thought I'd get this much money for my injuries. It feels so good. We met Craig through one of the attorneys, uh, and we kind of hit it off right away. We collaborated on several cases, and uh, we worked well together, and became friends. So we said, hey, come work with us. We brought a few good cases with him, and uh, we, we hit it off, and we've been together since 2006. We're a great team. We started with three of us in, in one paralegal, but now there's seven attorneys. We employ so many people. We take care of their families. We help them take care of themselves. Uh, we pay tax. We contribute to society. It is the true American dream. People who come to us, they're underdogs. We're 5'4". You, when you're 5'4", you're always an underdog, right? So all the people who get hurt come to us, they're underdogs because they're fighting against a big, bad insurance company. And we're there to make sure that their rights are protected and respected. 99.7% success rate is important. It, it shows you that if we take your case, we're pretty sure we're gonna win that, okay? And you can be sure as well. And most of our cases settle, so you don't have to go to court. Uh, but if, it, if they don't settle, guess what? We're gonna go to court, we're gonna do the best job for you, and we're gonna win. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm most proud of, is that I came up with a 25% fee. And, uh, I think it made all the difference. I mean, first of all, it helps people. And uh, it's, 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 it's apart from everybody else. But it saves people a lot of money. My brother handled the case. He got the client somewhere around $800,000. Uh, the client called him back while, after the money was distributed. He says, Alex, come down to my place. And, and the guy lived about an hour away. He drives up to his house, and next to his house, is a humongous camper. It's, it's like a big bus, like a big tour bus. And he says to Alex, see that bus? I used the money that I saved on attorney's fees to buy that bus. 
So it's very important. 25% is very important because again, it's your money. You're the one who's hurt, it's your money, and you should get it. But when we say, we've got your back, not your wallet, it's not just a slogan, it's, it's the words we live by, okay? We make sure we got your back. And with regards to not your wallet, yeah, we, we put more money in your wallet. And now, now looking back, it's such a big journey. Went through the immigration process in Austria, Italy, uh, coming here, and now basically grew up here. I couldn't see it any other way. I'm so happy this whole life came out this way, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. The beauty of this country is you do what you want, and you, you live how you want to live. You start a business, the business you want to start, that's what makes this country the best in the world by far. I'm 84 years old. I don't know how long I will exist, but I will die on this soil on, in this country that's with pride. I'm always very proud when, when, other, when somebody comes and visits Pittsburgh. I always make sure that uh, in the evening we ta take them through Fort Pitt Tunnel and then the city opens up. That's, that's the best reaction you get from people. They say, oh wow, this is beautiful. This is, I'm so proud of the city. It's, it's a great city. Pittsburgh accepted our family as its own, you know, and uh, we're through and through Pittsburghers. It's in our blood. It is our town.